Hi, I'm Mark Sylvester, and I am the CEO of Intro Networks, and we have created 805 Connect, which is a new regional business network that's going to connect San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, and Ventura counties. And the focus is, a, this is a business network with a focus on startups, entrepreneurs, connecting the the amazing amount of energy that's coming out of the startup community. So this webinar is designed for uh, chambers of commerce in the region. There's 29 of you, uh, welcome. And I'm glad you could join us uh, this afternoon. I am going to uh, post this recording and send an email. So if you, uh, I would encourage you to uh, have staff have access so that they can see it as well. And then if you have a question, uh, there's a chat window that you can type your questions in. I'll leave that open and I'll be paying attention to that. So uh, for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute everybody so that um, we don't have any crosstalk. And then when you have a question, uh, I will answer. So 805 Connect is uh, just a, a real quickly, Intro Networks is a company based in Santa Barbara that builds uh, large scale knowledge networks that are used uh, for associations, corporations, um, multinational. We, we've, we run NASA's STEM education network. We run the Department of Education's Connected Educator Network. Uh, we run a huge network in the Middle East for a large logistics company. We've built a, uh, networks for Google and Cisco and Intel and small companies, even in Santa Barbara, like Maps.com. And we run the nonprofit resource network in Santa Barbara, California. So the concept of 805 Connect is that there are three main entities um, that we're looking at public, think of them as the dot govs, private, the dot coms and the dot orgs, and then education uh, that are not really talking to one another. They are silo, there are silos within these silos. And over the last six months, there have been several convenings um, that have tried to pull all three counties together uh, through the economic development organization. So there's uh, Mike up at the EDC in San Luis. There's um, Ken Opplinger at the Santa Barbara Region Chamber of Commerce, who's uh, proposing an economic development team uh, in Santa Barbara. And then there's Bruce Stensley in uh, Ventura, who is doing the same thing. So this is a public-private partnership between Intro Networks and those three entities to create um, what I call the connective tissue between all of the efforts in all of these bubbles so that everybody kind of knows what everybody's doing and has access to everyone else. So you'll, you'll see how that's all going to work. So when we, we think about why would anybody want to get involved, our software, as you'll see, is about making better connections. We, we like to do business with people we know, and we hope those people turn into our friends. If you look at any one of your business relationships, you'll see that that's probably true. They've, you've had some uh, colleagues for 20 years and they're dear friends of yours. In the public sector, they're really concerned about new jobs and economic vitality. And on the education sector, it's new opportunities for students. Focusing then on the private sector, the dot coms and the dot orgs, think about in your own region, there are, I mean, I know in Santa Barbara, there's probably 28 organizations that are designed to help businesses in one way or the other, whether they're free services, their membership services, their associations, uh, there's chambers, obviously, there are lots of resources, but there isn't a single place. And there certainly isn't a regional network that connects those things together. So what we're doing is uh, building this for uh, the general population. So everyone is invited so that they have access to uh, these amazing connections that you'll see content uh, with a, a goal of finding jobs, finding employees, uh, doing more business to business. I know that uh, I was on the board of the Santa Barbara Region Chamber of Commerce for many years. And I know that one of the things we tried to do was to get members to do business with members. Well, imagine 
where if I'm only a member of one chamber, I'm really only thinking within that chamber. This network is going to connect all 29 chambers and extend beyond that. So you're going to be able to uh, find someone who has a capacity that you don't have, and they might be north of you, they might be south of you, uh, but clearly the farthest anybody's going to be is within a, you know, a couple of hour drive, which is, is actually fantastic. Someone had said to me, uh, we want to reduce offshoring, and he, he used this word I'd heard called inshoring, which I thought was fantastic. So I know that, for instance, in Ventura, there's uh, probably a 30% excess of manufacturing capability and uh, that's that no one even knows exists. So we want to solve that problem by making all of these kinds of resources available to everyone. Well, in a very short period of time, uh, and you are uh, you're invited on this webinar as one of our partners by extension of the relationship we have with the Santa Barbara region. All of the chambers we're looking at as partners uh, for uh, this effort. You can see we've we've got the education handled from the north all the way to the south. Uh, we've got the economic vitality and development organizations. We've got uh, some paid sponsors like Union Bank. We've got seed funding from the Santa Barbara Foundation. Uh, we are continuing to do fundraising uh, to be able to underwrite uh, the public-private partnership and uh, build a sustainable network that's going to um, actually add value over a number of years. Um, this is a little bit of an eye chart, and I am going to make this uh, deck available uh, to everyone as well, so I will, I'll send a link out to it. What we're finding, though, is as I was talking to people up and down the region and being introduced to people, everyone gets why this is a good idea and that we it, what i've been finding out is everybody's been talking about doing something like this but no one's actually done it and as a result i think that this is kind of the right time for something like this to come in from a neutral third party intro networks and make it really that public private partnership to provide free access so this isn't something that chambers get charged for. I mean, literally no one's getting charged for this. So it becomes a free member service that you can add uh, and add great value to. And I'm, I'm looking forward to the conversation to find out specifically what, what we might be able to do. So when we think about the what's in it for uh, partners, and I'm gonna get into specifically what's in it for chambers, but I think of four things. I, I think of having access to uh, exactly the people that I need to find on any given day or invite to an event or pull into a focus group or uh, solve that B2B commerce challenge. I think of visibility, being able to, again, you know, when we're at population, that might take 12 months, might take 18 months, but when we look at all of the people in business in the region, uh, 100,000 is uh, a good target number for us to have, especially when we want to show how vibrant this region is. And, you know, we think about all the way from Paso down to Simi and Thousand Oaks, that's a lot of people and a lot of micro climates, micro business climates within that. So I want to kind of think regionally, but act locally in each case. There's a tremendous amount of insight that comes from the interactions that people have on these networks. And we pull that together and we'll be having quarterly uh, meetings, webinars just like this, uh, where you'll be invited to join to show you um, the raw information that's coming up. And then collectively, we'll say what insight can we get from that? What What is the data telling us? And, and I'll, I'll give you some examples. So it's, it's not going to be real hard to figure it out. But then what will be really important is we then use that insight to drive initiatives that are actually going to net the goals that we want, which is economic vitality, new members, new businesses, grow and retain. All of those various goals, the high level goals, and then individual organizational goals. And then finally, I mean, this is really important with social media and its influence. I don't know how much you pay attention to uh, 
uh, social media marketing. But the way to be successful uh, if, is to become a thought leader. And you become a thought leader by constantly providing relevant information out to your uh, audience, whoever that audience is, on, on a actually more more than just doing a, a monthly newsletter. So you 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 know you all uh, follow Twitter accounts and Facebook and LinkedIn, and so there's there's a tremendous amount of information. So what we're looking to do is provide content across a variety of spheres of the things that we know business needs the most. Um, in these five areas, we're actually um, in a separate track, attracting partners who want to own that content um, delivery. So for instance, on IT services, we have a partner in Santa Barbara County, CIO Solutions. They will be providing a phenomenal amount of free information and moderating forum discussions so that businesses can figure out, you know, do we go to the cloud? Should we make an app? How do we uh, manage uh, scaling up the you know, infrastructure of this? There's, there's so many different things. And uh, look across these five uh, areas, um, if we will be able to provide very relevant, very timely information. And in fact, this is, along with the connections, the key to the success of this network. Communities um, will connect to uh, really compelling content that's posted on a regular basis. We all know this to be true. We kind of, we think of it as feeding the beast. And so we've uh, developed a relationship with Antioch University, who is actually going to turn this network into a bit of a laboratory project. So we'll be assigning um, students in the marketing and communication business area to each of the sponsors to be able to make sure we've got a great liaison and a great, uh, very fluid delivery of content. We're very excited about that piece of it. So when we think about chambers, um, I, I look at my uh, 10 years in, uh, on the chamber board and the conversations I've had, and I think uh, we, we might come up with more than these six, but I think these six really cover things. Um, there is an explosion of entrepreneurial activity. Um, it just, it's just, it's everywhere. Um, I was talking to my client in the Middle East um, it's fun for me. I get to uh, talk to them at 1130 at night <laughs> because of the time difference. But we talked about the explosion in Dubai of the entrepreneur and startup community. So that that is typically not a group that joins a chamber, which leads to second point, which is, you know, you want tech, young and startup. Uh, you want to get that demographic. So having visibility uh, as, you know, in chamber conversations, what's the value of chambership? And, and again, getting kind of beyond pamphlet speak and more into, you know, really good examples of how things are helping and making it a, making a compelling case. Um, and Pam, I will um, get your answer in just a second. Um, the other thing I've heard a lot is about jobs and recruiting. So both within the region, I, I met with a sponsor yesterday who uh, is very, very interested. They're competing uh, with three very big uh, companies in Santa Barbara, uh, and they find it very hard to compete with them for talent. So being very visible and and possibly here I can get a little bit of the answer, Pam. Um, this company, I've, I've suggested to them that they take the thing that they are uh, very well known for, though not in the region, and uh, create a forum for that and start discussing that and start getting uh, that sense that, wow, this is a really cool company. It's really smart. I like what they're saying. Um, I'm going to go check, you know, and then I see they have a job. Oh, I'm going to go check them out. Uh, and Pam, I will I'll give a more complete answer in a second. Creating regional awareness for local events. I think one of the things that I see as an outcome is if we start to have regional commerce and we, we start opening up everybody's uh, vision, if you will, 
to that's that visibility thing I was talking about to, hey, you know, maybe I'm, you know, a member of the Goleta Chamber. Maybe I ought to make the drive up to San Luis uh, on one of their mixers because the kind of services that I have would be perfect for those people or go south. Likewise, um, I, I want this to be a place where all of your events are posted in the calendar and, you know, we, we uh, start to cross pollinate quite a bit. That increasing competitiveness with the new B2B connections, I, I know that a big part of chamber membership is um, working with other chamber members. And so now I'm asking us to kind of take the, the hat off of the one chamber we run and think, okay, how do we make all of the chambers good and how do we all work together? Um, I, one of the challenges in the very first slide, I showed you those three bubbles and I said there's silos within silos. We need to think of 805 Connect as like Switzerland and there it doesn't have an agenda uh, in terms of membership. It's not trying to take anything away from anybody. It's trying to add value to everybody. So we have to have this um, spirit of uh, cooperation uh, without the thinking about uh, oh, I might be losing a member to someone. So that's, that's going to take a, a while to get that across. And then, of course, um, a lot of support for the regional su uh, suppliers and services. That's just, that's, I think, one, going to be one of the biggest things. So, Pam, let me get back. Um, when you say, how am I perceived as thought leader when the content's coming from someone else? Here's a great example. Um, so, um, Let's say that you are uh, a thought leader in uh, internet marketing, and there is uh, FoleyPod uh, is one of our sponsors, and they do internet marketing, and so they're gonna they're gonna be posting resources and they're gonna be starting conversations. I would insert myself into that conversation, and and others who are interested in internet marketing will be able to go in there and add value. So there isn't. The thing is, those forums are not closed to one person. They're open to everyone. So thought leadership comes from people reading and go, wow, that's really smart. And then when you see how we do the forums, being able to click on the name of someone and go, oh, wow, look at that. I want to and connecting with them. It's going to be um, your kind of up to you if that's a goal that you have to um, pay attention and start conversations. You'll, you'll hear this a lot in specifically in internet marketing is, um, you know, you, the world belongs to those that show up. So you find things that you're interested in and you just insert yourself into the conversation. Okay, um, the 805 Connect community has uh, several components. It's online. It's really different than uh, a LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter or anything like that because we're focused on the people in the businesses, not just the business. Because clearly you could just use Google Local or something like that to find businesses. But we really want to find the people within the businesses. And there's activity view and uh, there's groups and forum discussions and all of that. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to the system. Um, you can, uh, I've got a slide that has this, but it's 805connect.intronetworks.com. And what you'll do is you'll click on the new user and then pick what uh, type of uh, organization you are and then fill out this information and you can join. Um, so I'm going to log in now. And the first time you log in, what will happen is... Uh, you will uh, build a profile and that profile will come up automatically. Um, and this is where you can put in your, your title and how people can get a hold of you. Um, this is all optional information, so you don't have to fill that out. The heart and soul of 805 Connect is us capturing uh, experience. So you'll notice we have probably 200 different tags that people can select. So if I have experience in technology, which I do, I take that word and I drag it to the top. And the closer to the top, the more important it is. And that's going to actually going to affect the matches. So I would say technology and design are kind of equal for me. So I'm going to do that. And if I come and look over here, I, these are things that I'm 
saying, hey, look, you know, I could help other people with this stuff. So feel free to ask me a question or and I need help with. And if and and it was interesting during our um, during our uh, initial work, we found that some people thought, oh, you know, I don't need help with anything. So there's a not applicable, which is kind of interesting. I think we all need some help with something. It's whether we can uh, honestly say it or not. The, um, and then your area of focus. And what I would ask you to do, see up here it says missing a word, click contact us below, we'll add it. The contact us is down here on the bottom. So just click that, we can add the words. When you're done with that, you hit next. And this is a dynamic real time system. So actually move some words around, which changed my, um, uh, my matches. So now talk to me about, so I wanna talk about 805, uh, connect and you. So that might be interesting. I also love to talk about um, martial arts. I'm a martial artist and I like to talk about TED uh, and TED Talks. So, um, and you'll, I'll show you where this shows up. So then you, there's some more questions, your primary focus, what you do in a sentence, type of business you are. We also ask if people are members of a chamber. And so we have all the chambers listed here. And um, I found that what was really interesting is because this is all searchable, you'll, your membership director may want to search once again, we get at a, a decent population. Uh, you know, who are the people who said they're not currently a chamber member? Because that might be a prospect for you. Um, and then there's some other interesting um, qualities uh, and questions you can answer. Then the final piece is to put a picture of yourself. We strongly encourage that. Put in your various networks, those all get linked up. You put in some photos, files, pictures of your uh, shop, whatever you want, it's all there. You can even create a short video. So now the payoff is uh, the visualization. Now you notice we only have 23 users in here where this is, uh, uh, we've not launched it. We're gonna launch on April 10th and I would invite you all to join uh, when we're done. The colored pins indicate the different types. So remember, I said you had to select the different type, the type you were, go ahead and select that. And here I am at the center. So if I click on myself, I can see there's all the words I picked and there's my networks that I linked in, my address, how I answered the questions. There's that picture I put in. And here I can see all the activity. So back to the question about thought leadership, when I'm looking at someone's card, I can see all of the forum topics, all of the replies that they had. And I can just read about you know, just this person's point of view, okay? So now it's not about me, even though I'm at the center of the universe. If I look at the pin closest to me, which is Fred, uh, Fred and I have actually become friends over the last uh, five or six days. And the words in color are the things Fred and I have in common. So that might be a way for us to start a conversation. But it also, remember the talk to me about words? Talk to me about architecture, digital design, and interwebs. So I think interwebs is kind of clever, and we actually started a conversation about that. Then I can also uh, look at his various networks. I can call him, I can drop him a note, or I can send him a message right here within the system. In fact, I can even uh, send him a video message and that ought to light up. There's me, hey everybody. So you can send a video message to people uh, as well very, very quickly. So that's, a, that's how the system works. So now, what if I'm specifically looking for someone who could help uh, in B2B business? Like I really would love to do that. Um, so I just hit search and it's going to show me all of the people. Now, again, we don't have a lot of population, but there are two. No, there's three. There's Mike up there and there's Christine. So if once this gets populated, there'll be a lot of results because we'll be again in the thousands of people. So you may want to look at them in a list, which is a little easier to um, understand. We also can look at them on a map. So this is where the regional nature comes in. So we'll start to see. And because this is not limited to people in the region, because there are people who are going to be thinking about moving here, uh, and they're going to be invited to join as well, uh, this map will just get larger and larger. And then we have another interesting visualization, which is 
those three people, what do they all have in common? And as it turns out, uh, like this is interesting, deal making is something that two of the people say they could help others with. So that, in fact, might help you um, go into search and add that, come down to deal making and add that. And now that's going to isolate us just to the two people. Okay. So I'm going to reset that. And then I'm going to look to see um, if we have any other questions. Um, hey, thanks, Pam. Very nice. Um, so there we see all of the pins. Again, the green pin is going to be economic development. Um, and I would think chambers are service organizations. So there's a message center where I get all of my mail. It also goes to my regular mailbox, so I don't have to log in to answer to messages. Uh, there are groups. We're just getting started. Feel free to go ahead and create a group uh, for your chamber. And when you send uh, an invite, uh, once we get launched, and, and I'll be doing a lot of communication to all of you, um, go ahead and create a group for your chamber members uh, to join. That'd be fantastic. Uh, there's a calendar. It's very easy to go in and add an event. You just, you just hit add event and put in all the information. And when there is an event, then uh, people can download it to their calendar and you can have calendars specifically for your organization or global calendars. It's quite wide open. Then there's a uh, the forum area. So there's forums that are for all members. So we've got, um, for instance, here's beginning conversations. Um, and what I'd love you to do when you log in is um, introduce yourself. So this is um, how we're doing it. So that people get to know one another, kind of, uh, kind of fun. There are um, tips and tricks. So I'm constantly uh, posting information. So if you want to understand you know, what the different pin types are, you can do that. Or you want to uh, give feedback on the site, you can come in and just come in and simply hit reply and type in what you would like to um, see. Maybe it's words added or things like that. And we also have a resources area so we can see all of the partner organizations are here. So I can, and this is all came from uh, their website. And you'll see that we also have um, all of the Chambers of Commerce right here. So um, this is all easily, uh, easily accessed by everyone. And if you want to go in and add some uh, more resources, uh, you can, uh, you know, easily done. The one that I have open right now is on uh, favorite business books. I think that that's something we all do as business people as we read. And um, I think that's important. We also have um, blogs and business news. These are, some of these are just fantastic, whether it's you know, startup mistakes or things like that. So we know we talked earlier about connecting to content, that that's, uh, that's critically important. Then finally, on the back end, this is something that you won't see when you log in. This will be in the quarterly reports. This is where we have information on all of the users. We know how many times they've logged in, how long they spend on the site, um, how aligned they are in terms of uh, tags in common. We can look at each set. Uh, so if we look at experience, we look at I can help others with. Now, look at this business development, business startup consulting. We're going to find a tremendous, I thought this was interesting. Now, again, not enough people to be statistically relevant, especially when there's, you know, a hundred things to pick from. I thought it was interesting that internships was the number one uh, word where people need help right off the bat and then areas of focus. So as you can see, this is going to grow and grow and grow. We track all of the logins and we also track every single question. So we're going to know in exhaustive detail everything about this community and then share that for the sole purpose of being able to, each of us in our own organizations, better serve uh, the population. We can see which forums are getting the most traction. We can see uh, all of the things with the ads uh, that's going on. So finally, the first time you log in, you do that profile and you see the pin view and the map view and list view. The second time you log in, you've got this dashboard. 
So there will be news that comes out, um, a newsletter that comes out automatically on Tuesday mornings. Um, and uh, that is something that I edit. If you have something you want to go in the news, uh, send me a note in the contact us. Or you can just click on my card and hit send message. The um, You can change this profile. So for me, I want to see who are recent members. So Gerhard, he's the dean down at Calu uh, in Moore Park. Who I can look at who are the most active members is probably going to be me. Yes. Um, recent forums. So you can set this up to see, um, kind of manage whatever is important to you uh, to kind of keep a pulse on the community. So with that all being said, um, so Pam says, besides my chamber life, I have a career in the high tech industry. I'd love to know who developed the software. I have an application for it. <laughs> well, you're talking to him, Pam. I'm the one. Uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, I will contact you later. Uh, you can go to uh, intronetworks.com. Uh, you could also, if you click on another intro network solution, that'll take you to our website. We're a local company uh, in Santa Barbara. We've been doing this for, uh, for 11 years. So you can uh, learn all about it uh, right here. Uh, learn about how, how we do what we do and drop me a note and I will talk to you. So let's see, are there any other questions? I'd love to hear. I'm going to uh, unmute everybody and um, I think everybody can talk and just see, do you, you know, A, does this look like something you think your members are going to uh, enjoy? Because what I'd like to do is once you get in, I'd love you to go ahead and invite your members to join uh, so that when we launch on April 10th, I've got um, several hundred people in the network and um, that would be great. And let me know what you need from me to help you do that. Questions? I have a question, Mark. This is Sarah from Templeton Chamber of Commerce. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Um, you mentioned that um, part of the setup was optional. Is there any way if people were just kind of wanting to see how this works initially, can they not put in all of their contact information? Can we can they put in their identity and maybe a little bit about themselves but not have like an email address or a phone number right off the bat or is that required? Sure, 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 sure. They absolutely can do that. Um, and that's a really interesting I, I'm wondering if I put um, I think what I'm gonna do is see where it says the word email. I'm gonna say I'm gonna put in some text that says not shown publicly mm -hmm. okay that's probably a really good idea uh, and all of this is optional and maybe what i'll do is i'll add um, the word optional the only thing that we have to have is um, a password and i think i'm making um, zip code uh, uh, mandatory so that we can geocode everybody good question yeah i think that's probably fair but i think um and then the other thing that we did was um, there's a short video, and I believe I sent you a link to that in the email. Um, if not, I will um, include an email link. So I found uh, over the years that uh, having people go look at a short video uh, is so they know what they're getting into is very, very helpful. So then they'll understand why they might want to share some information. The more information you share, the better chance that you'll be discovered. Next Great. question. What, um, one of the things that's, that this is like going to be a huge new resource for chambers. In fact, we did, we built one of these 10 years ago for the Santa Barbara uh, area. Uh, did it for the Board of Supervisors until about three years later, they closed down all their economic development efforts at the time. Um, but we found that, you know, regular and continuous um, information out to the membership really, really helped. We ended up, there were 16,000 members, 16,000 businesses in Santa Barbara. I think we got about 10,000 of them in. So we're, 805 Connect is not asking for anybody's membership databases. We would, we would never, ever do that. Uh, but we are asking that you would be advocates for the product, 
project rather, not the product, but the, the initiative and help us spread the word. So um, let me know, I'm going to send a note out to everyone, but let me know what will help you do that best. Um, it might be a webinar to your folks. It might be just pointing them to this webinar. Uh, it might be what whatever it is um, that, it, you know, the way we get people engaged these days, as you know, is um, has changed from back in the day. So we're not going to be doing print advertising and television spots and all of that kind of stuff. This is a, a ground up entrepreneurial led effort um, with a 20 year view uh, with a, a feeling of it being engaging and really fun and very, very inclusive. So everybody's um, invited. Let's see, any other questions? If there's no other questions, um, I will let you all get back to the beautiful Friday that it's turning out to be here. We're so lucky to live here. I really appreciate this. Um, if you feel like dropping me an email with any kind of comments uh, that you have, love to hear them. We are in what we call a soft launch phase right now. So it's um, you, you are free to uh, invite others. What I'm going to do is I will send you the text uh, uh, of an invitation that uh, you are free, <coughs> excuse me, free to send out uh, to anybody you wish. Because right now, uh, the more the merrier so that when we get to the launch, I've got, um, you know, I've got uh, at least 100, possibly 300 people in here. Uh, that'll make it look a lot better. And thanks a lot, everybody. I really appreciate you uh, joining. And I really appreciate, I know how hard it is to run a chamber of commerce, having been kind of close to doing that. And it's really fantastic, the work that you're doing. And on behalf of 805 Connect, I thank you and look forward to working with you in the future. Bye-bye.